uh, of landing this, but do any of you have any indication from Bombardier that we're actually the favored choice now instead of Canada? Anyone? Well, you know, what I would go back to is, uh, and we knew we had to have the package in place and had the right thing to be able to compete with this. And I mean, there is clear that we are competing directly with Canada uh, for this project. But if you look at the advantages that we have, we put together a great economic development mega projects package. Uh, we are located in, in the Midwest in what is now will be this, established this aerospace corridor. Uh, we know we have a very productive workforce uh, in, the, in this area. One of the things Bombardier liked about Midwest is because they have experience in Wichita, and they know the productivity of the workforce. We know that the, the value of the currency, the exchange rate, uh, makes a difference. So I think if you add all that up, I think it is a, a very competitive pack. It may be substantially better than that, and, and those negotiations uh, may reveal that we're in a better position than 50-50. But regardless, even if, if we don't get the package, the fact that we have put together a mega projects deal so that we can now go after other projects puts us on a completely different field in terms of the economic development uh, world out there and how people look at Missouri and our ability to compete for projects. So uh, by passing this legislation, the absolute best win is we get Bombardier and everything that is associated with this, but even if that doesn't happen, we still have set the stage for, for big projects out there in the future, knowing that Missouri can compete. When can we expect from to know? actually suggested? Has anyone from Barbadier actually suggested that we would be the favorite candidate by passing this? Well, I don't think they've done that, and, and knowing how people negotiate, that would probably not be in their best interest to, to tip who they belong to. But uh, and Kermit wanted to ask a question, when would we know? Uh, we do know that the company has said that they plan to, to make this announcement uh, before the end of the year. Our hope is that it's actually sooner than that. Uh, there's a big air show in, in Farnborough. That's where a lot of these announcements are getting made. It would be absolutely fantastic if the announcement was made by them. But even if that doesn't happen, we know we, we will have the answer by the end of the year. How much, how much have we basically just put all of our cards on the table face up right now and Canada knows what we're offering and just hanging out there and Canada can come in and beat us? Well, I mean, obviously they know what, what is in the legislation and, and what the parameters are. But, uh, you know, I don't know how much it makes a difference. I mean, you put our package out there, uh, but the, the other things that go, you know, with that site at KCI, which is green space, that workforce we're talking about, the currency rate, you know, there's nothing they can do about that. I mean, that's that's our advantage in this situation. And then you pack, pack it behind this, this piece of legislation. You know, yeah, they know what's out there, but there's some things that you know they can try to compete with, and there's other things that just can't change that make this an attractive uh, situation for Missouri. Are there some side deals that are not being made public that are part of this mix too? Not that I'm aware of. That the department's involved with. Well, the department is negotiating, and they've signed confidentiality agreements uh, with the organization. Those confidentiality confidentiality agreements have, have gone to so far as we don't know exactly. Uh, the real results of those negotiations. However, we do know what's in the bill, and that's the parameters. Senator Shields, let me, let me ask you a question that I, I had asked Senator Gibbons. What, for the taxpayers' money from, from Kermit's listening area, viewing area in mid Missouri, or my listening area in St. Louis, what, what do our listeners and viewers get out of the millions of dollars of their money that is being loaned to this company? To build a project that's 250 miles away from St. Louis. Well, first of all, you, you would absolutely have the possibility to have suppliers anywhere in the state. Um, you know, they have to be in some proximity to the facility, but that that possibility exists. But I think the exciting thing uh, to look at the rest of the state would be the the opportunity to have the next mega mega project. You know, whether that be in Mid Missouri, uh, we know at some point that uh, that Boeing is going to look at you know future expansion and they're going to compete for other aircraft for the military to be able to do something. Uh, on that side of the state using this this framework uh, you know I think those are the opportunities and, and people you know realize that now we've entered this stage on mega projects um, you know it can be repeated and you know, we can compete with what we have not to this point been able to compete with in the southern states and I think that's the exciting thing you know not just for Kansas City but every part of the state Let me, let me go back.